by lopping off the front four cylinders and the 243 pounds they weighed, Aston Martin has lowered the DB11's curb weight to 3,880 pounds, shifted the car's balance rearward to 49-51 front rear and brought the DB11 further from its luxury Grand Tour routes and closer to the realm of the sports car Astons have always been beautiful to look at and comfortable to drive those with the V12S were also a little faster, more so in a straight line than around a corner but I've always secretly preferred the V8S over the V12S. They are lighter and more agile and who really needs all 12 cylinders? Granted, you get to 62 miles per hour a tenth of a second faster with the V12, and top speed is listed at 200 miles per hour with the 12 versus a mere 187 with the 8 but come on as another great English sports car maker allegedly said, add lightness. Exactly how much lightness seems to be a matter for discussion look at 20 references and you'll get 20 answers for what, exactly. The curb weight is for these two cars, as if Aston Martin execs were sort of making up curb weights each time they spoke to someone. I was told, and the official press release claims, that the V8 weighs 3880 pounds and Aston engineer said that was weight curb weight too, with all the oil, 90% of the gas and every drop of windshield washer fluid some Italian supercar makers list dry curb weights, which is like weighing in at the fat club after dehydrating yourself for a week in a sauna the official press release says the V8 weighs 254 pounds less than the V12 but our engineer said it was 243 pounds less I did not bring the scales with me when I drove it regardless, the V8 weighs about an eighth of a ton less.